everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am coming to you with my May monthly Disney pin board. Several people have been messaging me and commenting and reaching out wondering when and if I'm going to post this month's pin board, so I'm really appreciative of your interest. I will say that it does take me a long time to put these boards together and also to film and to edit this video every month. It's definitely one of my more time-consuming YouTube projects, but I do really enjoy doing it. So here it is. Here is a look at my pin board for the month of May. I kind of went with a floral like May flowers theme and uh, down at the bottom you'll see I've got a Star Wars section because May is also Star Wars month also known as you know May the 4th be with you and we've got the new solo movie coming out so I've got a little Star Wars tribute a lot of flowers a lot of princesses and animals and girly things on here I really hope you like it here is just a little glance at what the entire board looks like. There are 75 pins on this board, so that's kind of a lot of pins. And as always, I'm going to flip my camera around now and give you a close-up look at every single pin that I chose for my May monthly Disney pin board. I hope you guys like it. Okay, so here is a close-up look at my pin board for May 2018. I'm going to start up here with the pins in the upper left-hand corner, as I always do. This pin right here is actually one of the fancier pins on the board. This is a WDI Snow White fan pin. I picked it because I love the florals. I love that it has all seven dwarves. I love this little owl detail on the top and this little gemstone as well. I think that's limited edition of about 250 or so, but beautiful pin. Really excited to be able to show that one off on this May flowers themed board. Next to it, I have this pin, which features Mickey and Minnie as Snow White and Snow White's Prince. And next to that one, I have the Snow White Stunning Silhouettes pin that was released by ShopDisney.com. Nice jumbo pin with a stained glass element and some glitter embellishments. Definitely one of my favorite newer pins in my snow collection. Right next to that, I have a Snow White Hidden Mickey pin that I think is a scrapper, but it looks pretty nice, so I'm keeping it. I love how it looks with the flower theme of this board. Here I have another one of my favorite Snow White pins. It is Snow White by the Wishing Well. I absolutely love this scene in the movie, and I love that she's holding this little bluebird. And down here next to that one, I have what is actually one of my favorite pins in my entire Disney pin collection. This is from the World of Disney Store in New York City. It features Cinderella, Mulan, and Snow White. And they are in front of Washington Square in New York City. And I went to college at NYU. NYU basically is situated right on Washington Square Park. So this reminds me of a very special time and location in my life. So really love this pin. One of my all-time favorites that I have. Down underneath that, I've got a Flower and Garden Festival pin from 2015. It features the topiaries of Donald, Dale, and Chip in front of Spaceship Earth. And then next to it, I have one of the fancier pins on this board. This is a Zootopia pin. This is actually the Beloved Tales pin. I think these are limited edition of 300. And it's got a pin on pin of Judy Hopps hugging Nick Wilde. I, I really love this pin. This was a grail of mine for a long time, and I thought it fit the kind of aesthetic and theme of this board pretty well. And speaking of Flower and Garden, and speaking of Zootopia, I've got this pin here of Judy Hopps. This is from the 2017 Flower and Garden Festival. This is limited edition of 500. It's actually quite hard to find because it came in a pin set. I worked really hard to get my hands on this one. I really, really love it. I love all the Judy Hopps pins and I want all of them. And over here, there is this beautiful Snow White fantasy pin. I love the flowers in her hair. I just think she looks gorgeous here. I don't have a ton of fantasy pins, but I love all of the ones that I do own. And this is probably my favorite Snow White fantasy pin that, that I've seen. Underneath Snow White, I've got two more Disney ladies. I've got Anna from Frozen in her spring outfit. She's holding some sunflowers. And I've also got Mary Poppins in her Jolly Holiday outfit. These are both rack pins. I thought that they fit the springy theme really well of this board, and I love both of these characters, by the way. I don't mention it that often, but I'm actually a really big fan of Anna. She's one of my favorite princesses. As the centerpiece for this section of the board, I've got a Judy Hopps postcard that came from Hong Kong Disneyland. It is Judy dressed up as a turnip, which I think is adorable and also kind of funny and strange. So she's kind of holding down the fort on this side of the board. And right next to her, I have the matching pin, this tiny little Judy Hopps turnip pin. And this pin is a prize in some of the games in Hong Kong Disneyland Park, and I got this uh, from an online seller. Right here we have another Flower and Garden Festival pin. This is from this year's festival, the 2018 festival. And it's a pin on pin, it's really nice. It's Figment holding a map of Epcot. And in the back you've got um, the glitter Mickey that's, that's made of flowers when you're actually in the park. And then there's topiaries for Donald 
Pluto and Mickey and Spaceship Earth in the background. So love all the details on this pin, really cool pin. Underneath Figment and Judy, I've got a few more Flower and Garden Festival pins. This is from 2014. It's Kermit the Frog sitting on some luggage in front of one of the pavilions. I think it's the France Pavilion, or maybe it's just World Showcase in general, but another pin on pin, really nice one. And here is one of my most recent Flower and Garden pin acquisitions. This is from the Gardens of the World Tour, which I took on my most recent trip. And I really thought we were going to get a Judy Hopps pin at the end of this tour, but we were kind of unpleasantly surprised to receive this one as well. It's honestly a really nice pin. I've got nothing against this pin, but I had heard there was a Judy Hopps pin if you took this tour, and we ended up with Mickey and Minnie instead, so boohoo. Underneath that, I've got this tiny little Rapunzel Tangled pin. This is from a pin set that came from the Tokyo Disney Parks. I do think it's pretty. I like the glitter. It's super tiny, and I mostly picked it for right here because I thought it matched the colors really well on this board. Moving down another row, I've got several more Flower and Garden Festival pins. I really do love the Flower and Garden Festival, and I'm kind of creating a side collection of Flower and Garden Festival pins that I like. So I've got a Minnie Mouse one. I think this is from 2017 a figment one also from 2017. Lilo and Stitch, this one has a rubberized element for the spaceship Earth piece, that's pretty cool. And Mickey Mouse, also from 2017. I love that there's the monorail in the background of this one. Shifting back up to round out this section of the board, I've got a Bambi pin. This is from the Bambi anniversary that happened last year, I think. This is a hinge pin, and it's Bambi and Bambi's mother. And I love this with all the little quails here. This actually opens up. And then you can see Thumper and a raccoon and a little family of bunny rabbits. So really pretty pin. This is actually a gift from my friend Ashley. So thank you, Ashley. I really like this one. And right up here, we've got Bambi and Feline. This comes from the Disney Mystery Pin Pack that is the Couples Pack, I believe. Let's hop up here to the top of this board. I have as the centerpiece for this board, or kind of the focal point, an art card by my friend Jackie, who has a website called Pink Paper Plane. I will link to Pink Paper Plane down below. She does some lovely art, occasionally some Disney drawings as well, but there's a May card. And to tack this card down, I use the pins from the most recent Mickey Memories release, the May release from Shop Disney. So I've got the kind of 50s space age Mickey head. This really cute one that says, oh boy, I just love it. And then down here in the corner and kind of part of the scene, I've got the, the Mickey Mouse and it looks like he's jumping for joy. So really like the colors on those and I wanted to include the May Mickey memories on my May pin board. Directly beneath that, I have a handful of pins that make me think of spring. They're kind of dapper Minnie and Mickey pins. So I'll start with this one right here. This is a pin that I picked up when I stayed at the Boardwalk Resort in Walt Disney World. I stayed there, I think, two years ago. Really loved it. Super nice looking pin. Then in the center, I've got a two-pin set that features Minnie Mouse dressed up as Mary Poppins and Mickey Mouse dressed up as Bert from the Jolly Holiday scene. Really like this little pin set. I think they look great. And I've also got this open edition pin of Mickey and Minnie looking dapper and riding a tandem bicycle. I've had this in my collection for a while and I, I really like this one. Down below that row, I have three fantasy pins that were designed by my friend Amy of Yesterdaisy Pins. I will link to Yesterdaisy Pins down below. Her designs are beautiful. So as the centerpiece and one of the focal points of this board, I've got Dinah, who is Alice's cat from Alice in Wonderland. She's got a beautiful gold background and some beautiful flowers underneath her. And to the left, I have Judy Hopps, and she's got some flowers and a donut. And to the right, we have Nick Wilde, and he's got some flowers and a popsicle. So again, these three are all fantasy pins, all from my friend Amy, and her fantasy pin shop is Yesterdaisy Pins. I will leave a link down below. I think they are gorgeous. And then shifting down here, I have four Fox and the Hound pins. Fox and the Hound is one of my favorite kind of underrated Disney films. Um, this is a mystery pin from the Love is an Adventure pin event. This one says Love is Friendship. I really like this one for spring or even for summer. They're in the water splashing each other. These two in the center also came from mystery sets. I think this one came from a pin pack like in the bag and this one came from the BFF's mystery pin box. So two more Fox and the Hound pins. And then this fourth one over here I think is a rack pin that's currently available and again it's Todd and Copper when they are kids. And I just thought Fox and the Hound kind of fit that transition from spring to summer really well which is why I included it on this board. I have a few other Fox and the Hound pins but these are the four that I could fit. 
Okay, next let's move over here to the upper right hand corner of the board. I've got a button that came from the Tokyo Disney Resort. It's a very merry unbirthday featuring the tea party scene from Alice in Wonderland. I just loved the colors. I thought they looked springy and I'm on an Alice thing right now and I think Alice colors and the general aesthetic is very springy, which is why I've got a small Alice section on this board. So right next to it, I have the Alice lollipop, which is part of the Hong Kong Disneyland mystery pin tin set that features lollipops of a whole bunch of different characters. Right next to that, I've got a pin from one of my favorite series of all time. This is from the Doorways to Disney series. So Alice slides over and this opens up and you can see the Mad Hatter in one of the teacups inside. Really love this pin. This came out last year. Next to that, there is not Alice, but Belle. Belle is also part of the Stunning Silhouettes pin series that has been being released by Shop Disney. My friend Laura actually gifted this to me, and Laura has a YouTube channel. I think it's called Pins and Pixie Dust. She just started that, so I'll link to Laura down below. And thank you again, Laura. This was such a generous gift. Underneath Belle, I've got another Snow White fantasy pin. This also comes from Yesterdaisy Pins, and this features Snow White as a centaur, which is kind of amazing and super creative. So I really love that. She's actually looking pretty sexy as well as springy here. Love this pin, really big pin. Here are a few more Alice pins. This pin features Alice giving a flower crown to Dinah. This comes from the Disneyland Paris parks. I think this is an open edition pin in Paris. This is my most recent Alice acquisition. This is from the Lunchtime Tales series. This was released in April. So it's an Alice in Wonderland lunchbox that opens up to reveal some mad tea party treats. And I think these colors inside are especially springy and match this board. Over here is another Alice pin, also from the Disneyland Paris parks. I purchased this myself when I visited a couple years ago. And it says, Tea Time à Paris, Disneyland Paris. And it features Cheshire Cat, White Rabbit, whom I love, and the pin on pin piece is Alice. The focal point on this side of the board is really this art card of Alice with some flowers, and this art card is by One Golden Sun. I use One Golden Sun art cards all the time on my pin boards, so I will link to her shop and her Instagram down below. And this card is being held in place by this Alice in Wonderland purse pin. This is from the mystery pin pack that features all of the, the handbags. This is relatively recently released in the Disney World and Disneyland parks. I've got a few more springy pins to the left of my Alice art card. This is of the three Aristocats siblings. This is a pin that came from Disneyland Paris. I think it's still available there. I bought this myself when I visited the parks a couple years ago. It's got a nice glitter embellishment. It's got some Easter eggs, so it's, it's very, very springy. Really love this one. Right below that, we've got a very springy Anna and Elsa from Frozen. This is a rack pin that's available in the US parks. I think this is gorgeous. There's glitter, there's like a birthday gift. I'm I'm super into this one. I think this is from the short where they do the, the birthday. Elsa throws Anna the birthday party or, or whatever the heck happens in that short. Down here, I've got another floral Anna pin. I told you I was an Anna fan. And uh, this is actually from the Tokyo parks. I got this recently in a trade. I think it's a beautiful pin. It's got some stained glass elements to it. Just really, really gorgeous. And the final Anna-themed pin on this board is this Anna purse. And it's got, again, a nice green springy floral element, so I thought it was a good one for this board. Kind of directly beneath and center of the Alice art card, there's this pin, which is a rack pin in the American parks. And it's Mickey and Minnie riding the teacups. It says, whoosh. This one came out not too long ago. One of my favorite open edition pins. It's so pretty in person. The glitter makes it look uh, extra spectacular. And then on this side, we've got one more purse. This is the Rapunzel handbag purse. And I also pulled this out of that pin pack. On the right hand side of this art card, I've got a couple more Alice pins. This is from the Alice Mystery Pin Box Set. Um, I've got the whole set of these. I really like the, the art on these ones. And then underneath it, there is a Alice Tea Kettle Hidden Mickey pin. Not sure if this one is authentic, but I don't really care. I love the way that it looks. And then a little bit of a departure from the Alice and floral theme, I've got three glittery figment pins. These all came out as prizes in this year's Festival of the Arts scavenger hunt. There are actually four of them. I'd love to get the fourth one, but I've got these three. They're tiny, but I think they're really pretty, and I've been looking for an opportunity to show them off, and I just thought they kind of fit the look of this board really well. So I've got a couple figments there. 
And then finally down here in the corner, this is this year's Cinco de Mayo pin. Obviously it's May, so I had to get the Cinco de Mayo on there. This one's got a moving element. It obviously features the three caballeros. And Cinco de Mayo is also my cat's birthday, so I don't know, I'm a fan of that date, and I just wanted to include this pin on my May board. I can't stop doing this. Overall, this board is mostly flowery and gardeny and springy, but I do have this final section down here at the very bottom, and this is my May the 4th Star Wars section, and you guys, I literally put every Star Wars pin that I own on this board. I'm not a big Star Wars collector, but it's Star Wars month because it's May, as in May the 4th be with you, so I'll just talk you through these really quick. This Millennium Falcon pin right here is this year's May the 4th pin release. I got this when I was in Walt Disney World earlier this this month on May the 4th. I was in Hollywood Studios that day. Next to it, I've got a tiny Porg pin. This is a box lunch pin that actually came as part of a three pin Porg set. Here we've got a Darth Vader mystery pin. This right here is a fantasy pin of the crystal foxes that were featured in the most recent Star Wars film, The Last Jedi. I fell in love with these foxes. Can't remember the name of the shop that I got this pin from, but if I can find it, I will put a link to it down below. This, of course, is also a fantasy pin. It is Snow White dressed up as Rey, and she is holding a Porg. I love this mashup. This came from Enchanted Thoughts Club. This is one of my favorite fantasy pins that I own for sure, and I'll put a link to Enchanted Thoughts Club down below. This Chewbacca pin is from a Star Wars mystery pack, I think a fairly recently released one. Right here in the center, I've got another Doorways to Disney pin. This is the Star Tours attraction pin, so she slides over. And then this door opens up and inside there is C-3PO. And I love, love, love this series. This next pin here is really cool. This is the May the 4th pin that was released in 2015. I was also in Walt Disney World for May the 4th that year with my friend Pam. Her birthday's on May the 3rd and we go every year so I'm often in the parks on May the 4th. Really like this one. Got a Luke Skywalker mystery pin. Right up here above Luke, I've got the second pin from that Porg three pack that came from Box Lunch. These are so cute, I love Porgs. And this pin is really cool. This was actually released in 2015 on the day after May the 4th, so May the 5th, AKA Revenge of the 5th, get it, ha ha ha. And it features Goofy as Darth Vader. It's got some stained glass, really cool pin. This Chewbacca pin was released on May the 4th this year. It says Chewie is my co-pilot. Next to that, I have this Stormtrooper pin. This is part of a mystery pin pack. I think it's the Mascots pin pack. Here we've got another Porg from that Box Lunch 3 pin set. Super cute. This pin right here is from a Hollywood Studios booster pack. It features R2-D2 and C-3PO. And then finally over here, I've got a Boba Fett Bounty Hunter pin. And this is also from uh, a recently released mystery pin pack. So that is everything for this month's May pin board. I think it turned out really springy and nice, plus that kind of fun and funky Star Wars section down there at the bottom. Here is one more look at the whole thing. Thanks so much for watching my May monthly pin board. I hope you enjoyed looking at all of those pins. I will be back in June with another monthly pin board, all different pins. And this is just a way for me to show off portions of my Disney collection kind of month by month. I also like to get a little bit themey and a little bit creative with the layout of the pins. That's why I'm doing this series. And I think a lot of people are enjoying it. I'm really enjoying it. If you are interested in seeing more Disney pin videos, I've got a link in the description box down below to my Disney pin playlist. I've got dozens of Disney pins YouTube videos online now so you can go ahead and just go nuts with that if you want. Please leave a comment down below and let me know what your favorite pin from my May monthly board was. I'm always really curious to hear which pins people like. Also, if you have any of the pins that I featured on this board, tell me in the comments below if we are pin twins about any of these boards. I'm starting a new thing. Are we pin twins? Do we have the same pins? I love knowing stuff like that. I'm such a nerd for this. If that's enough talking from me. I hope you enjoyed the board. I'll be back with more Disney related videos very soon and until then have a magical day. Bye guys!